wh why would Senator want to do this? So go to Rand Paul website and you see fire Dr. Fauci with a little box that says contribute here. You can do $5, $10, $20, $100. So you are making a catastrophic epidemic for your political gain. So the you only have thing politically that, the only attacked thing that your can, colleagues uh, yeah. and in a politically reprehensible the way only thing that I their reputation. All right, guys. So once again, we got to talk about Dr. Fauci and Dr. Rand Paul going at it in Congress once uh, again. As uh, Fauci and the CDC and uh, Rochelle Walensky have kind of been the joke of this country, right? They've kind of been an embarrassment, right? So much so that even the mainstream liberal media is roasting them up asking questions about what the hell is going on right which in my opinion could ultimately lead to the downfall of dr fauci um if the mainstream media continues to turn on him okay because at that point uh he will really be fighting an uphill battle uh for credibility and the democrats might make him a scapegoat right they might be the ones to actually fire fauci uh if things keep going the way they're going right i'm just saying that's a wild theory but i'm just saying um so things are not necessarily looking good for them uh especially Fauci as an organization an entity with the initials PV uh has exposed some uh military documents that essentially kind of supports the uh claim or the idea that Fauci may have been in the knowledge about uh potential gain of function research that we may have been doing in China. Now, I have no clue if these documents are actually real or the authenticity of them or anything like that. But it does support what Rand Paul has been arguing about in Congress with Dr. Fauci in regards to the whole gain of function thing. Okay. Um, so I, I thought it was interesting the timing of the release uh, in you know conjunction to uh, the congressional hearings that have happened today, right? In which Rand Paul is now grilling Dr. Fauci once again. But this time on the email leaks that I did a video on that showed that Fauci and colleagues may have been trying to smear other scientists as fringe uh, because they did not go along with the mainstream narrative in regards to the best way to fight the pandemic. Take a look. Dr. Fauci, the idea that a government official like yourself would claim unilaterally, unilaterally to represent science that any criticism of you would be considered a criticism of science itself is quite dangerous. Central planning, whether it be of the economy or of science, is risky because of the fallibility of the planner. It would not be so catastrophic if the planner were simply one physician in Peoria. Then the mistakes would only affect that physician's patients, the people who chose that physician. But when the planner is a government official, like yourself, who rules by mandate, the errors are compounded and become much more harmful. A planner who believes he is the science leads to an arrogance that justifies, in his mind, using government resources to smear and to destroy the reputations of other scientists who disagree with him. In an email exchange with Dr. Collins, you conspire, and I quote here directly from the email, to create a quick and devastating published takedown of three prominent epidemiologists from Harvard, Oxford and Stanford. Apparently, there's a lot of fringe epidemiologists at Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. And you quote in the email that they, or from Dr. Collins, and you, you agree that they are fringe. And immediately, there's this takedown effort. A published takedown, though, you know, doesn't exactly conjure up the image of a dispassionate scientist. Instead of engaging them on the merits, you and Dr. Collins sought to smear them as fringe and take them down and not in journals, in lay press. This is not only antithetical to the scientific method, it's the epitome of cheap politics, and it's reprehensible, Dr. Fauci. Do you really think it's appropriate to use your $420,000 salary to attack scientists that disagree with you? The, the email you're referring to was an email of Dr. Collins to me, if you look at the email that you responded to and hurried up and said, I can do it, I can do it. We got something in Wired no, magazine. No, no, no. I think in you usual did. fashion, Senator, you are distorting everything about me. Did you First ever object all, to Dr. Collins's characterization of them as fringe? Did you write back to Dr. Collins and say, no, they're not fringe, they're esteemed scientists, and it would be beneath I, me I did to not do that? 
You responded to him that you would do it. And you immediately got an article in Wired and you sent it back to him and said, hey, look, I've got him. I nailed him in Wired of all scientific publications. That's not what went on. You did. There you go again. That you just do the same thing every hearing. That was your response. And so, this, wasn't, so, this wasn't the only time. So your desire to take you're down absolutely people. absolutely incorrect. As usual, Senator, you no. are incorrect. Almost everything you well, said. Well, no, you deny. You deny. Right. But the emails tell the truth of this. No. This wasn't the only time. Your desire to take down those who disagree with you didn't stop with Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. All right, guys. So you seen that, you heard that. Once again, Rand Paul <laughs> trying to take down Fauci in Congress uh, over some things that I think people find quite disturbing uh, from a scientist, okay, and and, and this time uh, it's about these emails that I have went over with you guys before in a past video regarding the Great Barrington Declaration, which essentially is just a whole bunch of scientists that came together and said, hey, we don't necessarily agree with some of these pandemic policies, right, more specifically the lockdown, they're like, no, 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 we need to focus on those that are most vulnerable, right, we need to focus on those populations and basically let everybody else live their life, obviously, uh, that is blasphemy, <laughs> according to uh, the mainstream uh, narrative in regards to public health. Now, in regards to the emails, uh, the overall point of what Rand Paul is saying is absolutely correct because there was emails, <laughs> it's up here on the stream, uh, that is from uh, Francis Collins, the director of the NIH uh, at the time, basically saying, hi, Tony and Cliff. See the Great Barrington Declaration. This proposal from three French epidemiologists who met with the secretary seems to be getting a lot of attention and even a co-signature from Nobel Prize winner Mike Levitt at Stanford. There needs to be a quick and devastating published takedown of its premises. I don't see anything like that online yet. Is it underway? Francis. So if you listen to the framing of this email, right, this guy is saying, listen, these are three friend scientists, right? Epidemiologists from Stanford, Harvard, and uh oxford right french friend and he's asking fauci hey as a takedown of these friend scientists under the way yet right now keep me out this guy is a public health official right he's a public health official saying this okay and fauci responds <laughs> basically yeah and pastes a copy of a piece from the wire that debunks the theory right uh, that is being pushed by the Great Barrington Declaration. And then he also posts another piece as well. Okay, so Fauci is um, actively participating in this takedown of uh, these scientists that don't agree with the mainstream narrative, right? That, that's what's happening. And I think Rand Paul is right to ask, like, why would you participate in an activity that is designed to... Uh, shut down scientific debate. You're supposed to be a scientist, right? You you should be welcoming scientific debate and other ideas being brought forth to the table. However, that's not what you guys were doing. You guys were saying that these people were French, right? That they were beyond the pale, that they didn't belong in the conversation. And Fauci participated uh, in facilitating information to help take down those French scientists, right? He did. What he didn't do is question and say, hey, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't call these guys friends, right? Maybe we shouldn't be trying to discredit these people uh, just because we don't agree with them. That's not what he said. He said multiple articles. This is how we're going to debunk this, right? This is how we're going to facilitate this takedown. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So listen, with that being said, man, you know, I, I think Fauci's biggest problem is now it's gotten to the point now where anybody that criticizes him, he he takes it as some type of like personal attack. And then he goes on to make claims like, oh, attacking me is like attacking science. And it's like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> right? Are you serious? Are you serious? Attacking you is basically like attacking science. That is what Fauci has said. And this is what happens when uh, you are a unelected bureaucrat that has been worshiped by the mainstream media for uh, two plus years now, right? You get full of yourself and you think that you can't be questioned, that you are the science and therefore you are above questioning, even though science is all about questioning, right? That's what it is. So, you know, this is a pattern of behavior from uh, Dr. Fauci that in my opinion is concerning and, you know, people should be aware and he should be called out for it. 
right? And when you're trying to shut down public debate and smear other scientists as fringe and, you know, deadly and blah, 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 when, you know, it's obvious that uh, the CDC and uh, the rest of the public health authorities don't necessarily have all the answers, um, I think that that is in and of itself dangerous, right? And that's not something we should be doing, right? I think Fauci would avoid a whole lot of criticism if he just uh, didn't get so butthurt <laughs> every time somebody criticizes him and to stop recommending <laughs> certain mandates and for people not to spend time with their loved ones, again, based off things that, you know, they may or may not have a full understanding of yet. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.